Welcome to D-Lab everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom control panels for your boutique amp project. All right, here's the steps for building your own custom control panel for your guitar amp project. This amplifier is already built and I need to add my control panel, which in this case is a piece of 40,000 aluminum that I cut on my little sheet metal shear. To install this panel though, you have to retract all the controls. You've already spent the time laying out the chassis and now you're going to use that as a template to get the holes in the right position on your control panel. So all of the controls, jacks, etc. are retracted at this point. Next step, I'm going to take this piece of aluminum we're going to tape it across the front of the amp. So I've taped our piece of aluminum across the front of the amp. Now I'm going to take a dental pick. I'm actually going to go around the back side, find the holes that are protruding through the chassis, and we're going to etch them with the pick. And then when I remove the front panel, we'll have precise locations for the holes that need to come through the new control panel. All right, so I have the locations of the holes marked on the aluminum. Now I take a set of calipers, I go to the center of those holes, and I'm going to score a line. Now that I have the line scored across, I'm going to take my little Starrett spring-loaded center punch. I'm going to find the center where that score mark is and punch each one of those locations and then drill it. So I have all the holes center punched and now we're going to use this little eighth inch center drill. I take a little bit of tap magic, put that on the tip. The center drill seats right into that center punched area. And I drill them all out. Initially with the eighth inch bit. All right, I have all the holes center drilled. Now this is where the tricky part comes. You got to pay attention to the pattern of your amp because remember we etched it on the rear. So now you're going to have to flip it. It's going to sit on the amp like this, okay? So now I'm going to take a stepper bit and I'm going to open up those holes to match the diameters of the ones on the chassis. And here we go. Control panel is drilled and it lines right up with the holes in the chassis. Now one thing that I do as a little trick is I take my stepper bit and I'll open these up one more step so that when the panel goes on you have a little bit of slop to adjust the alignment. With the washers that go over the top you'll never see the gaps. So now you need to pick the color of your control panel. In this case, we're going to go with black and it's going to have white lettering and pinstriping. And then this panel will install on the front of the amp. So let me take you to my vinyl cutter and show you that process. So to generate the custom artwork that you see on my control panels, I use this prism cut system. It comes with CAD software called Vinyl Master Cut. It allows you to lay out your control panels to scale. So this is the panel for the AC4X. In a second I'll spool it and you'll be able to watch the cutter in action. Alright, I've spooled up the artwork and it's just waiting for me to tell it to cut. Here we go. Cutter's moving. Let's check it out. So in a few minutes, I'll have a vinyl decal that I can apply to the control panel. Okay, now it's time to remove the excess material from our new artwork that we're going to put on the amp. You just got to do this carefully. 
so that everything stays in place. After I get this peeled off, then we're going to put it on what's called transfer tape and stick it on the front panel. It's a pretty cool process, but those cutters are pretty expensive. So you can see that everything is ready, except we still have like the center of the O's and so on that are still filled. So you have to do what they call weeding. I'm going to pop all that out of there and then we'll put it on the transfer tape. All right, I've completed weeding the artwork. So now all the lettering is ready to be transferred. And what I do is I tape this down to the green board and that way it doesn't try to move when I'm putting the transfer tape on it. Right, I've got a tape down. This is the transfer tape which you can reuse. It's only two inches wide and so is the artwork. So you got to get that alignment pretty close. Okay, now I've got it on top of the lettering. Now you just kind of rub it like you would, remember the old rub-on transfers when you were a kid? You're doing the same thing. You just want to rub this white area and then we'll lift the transfer tape and everything will come off of the backing. And then we can lay it on top of our new painted control panel and hopefully everything transfers first time. I usually have pretty good luck. The key is to be patient. And here we go. So I'm lifting off all the lettering in the artwork as you can see. Nice and slow. And if something sticks, you can just lay the transfer back down and rub a little bit more. Like right there. And there we have it. Now I need to get the control panel taped down, and we're going to lay the transfer paper on top of that. Hopefully everything will end up on that panel. Alright, this is the tricky part guys. So I am probably going to cut away from the video so I can get this aligned. I look at it under a magnifying glass and I make absolutely sure that everything lines up because you only got one chance to get this right. Okay, I've got the decal in place. I'm just going around here rubbing the white areas. You only want to rub the areas that you want to adhere to the panel. Don't rub this tape against the black paint or it could lift it. Alright, I'm going to carefully remove the transfer tape. Same deal, if you see something trying to lift, you stop and go back there and repair it. Now the little white dot that you saw that just lifted, those are just locators. So they will not stay. But all that artwork we need to stay on the panel. So you can see it's kind of a tedious process to do this. And that's why I don't offer them for sale because just the layout alone, trying to get everything lined up, is something I cannot do without having your amp sitting in front of me. So I reserve these for custom amp builds. Getting close. Now when you come off of this, you want to kind of go at an angle. There we go. That's it. All right, now let's get the panel, install it on the amp, and see what it looks like. There it is, the completed control panel on our new Boutique Vox AC4X amplifier. Looks great, doesn't it? 
So there it is guys, from beginning to end, make your custom control panel for your boutique amp creation. This kind of reminds me when I was stationed at Schnute Air Force Base. We were in training, we'd go through an all day process of trying to learn a task, and at the end, the instructor would say, it's just that simple.